What's up guys, this is Clay. I'm the owner and president of Thunder Laser USA and I'm super excited today because we're gonna dive into some new user training. So I'm gonna make a series of videos about some different projects that can help get you guys started. So this is for the very new user, like if you just got your machine and you're like, I need to set up, set it up and get going and run some jobs, this is gonna be the video series for you. Uh, the machines all come with this material, material kit that has a bunch of different uh, materials inside of it. So I'm actually going to make some projects to go through these different materials and show you how to do it. So the first project I'm gonna do is the most simple project that I could think of on actually free materials. So even before we get into our materials kit, I'm going to ask you to find some cardboard that you have laying around your house or any other free thing really. Um, but I'm gonna do this with cardboard because everybody's got a spare box running around and I'm just going to cut a square out and I'm going to engrave my name. And that being said, this would be a good time to talk about fire safety. So cardboard and everything pretty much that you put in your laser is flammable. So it's always a good idea to keep a uh, spray bottle of water laying around. Most of the time, this is what you're gonna need. If anything does start to smolder or anything like that, you can just open your lid, spray it, fire's gone. Super easy, don't get too stressed about it. Uh, as long as you're not leaving your laser, nothing bad's gonna happen, I promise. So don't be too afraid about that. Heat alarms, there's a heat alarm in every machine. So if the machine does detect fire, it will sound the heat alarm. This video assumes that your machine is set up and that you have light burn installed. We have lots of good resources on that. If you need help, uh, just look in our knowledge base for new users or we have the training academy as well. Those are all great resources to help get you up and going. But I'm just gonna start with a new job, a new project for you. So many people guys I've seen, I've seen a lot of people that they get their machine and it literally will just sit in a crate for six months because they're scared to use it. And hey guys, I was there too one time. I remember how intimidating these machines can be. And I'm telling you, it's not that bad. If you just follow along, do these small projects, take small steps, start, you know, like I said, we're gonna start with cutting out a square and our name, and then we can work our way out from there. I have a lot of new users that actually want to, you know, engrave a photo on a Tumblr like day two. Uh, don't, don't do that, guys. Take small steps, learn as you go, and you're gonna have to put in some reps with this, guys. So you're gonna get to learn your machine. You're gonna wanna repeat things. You're gonna put things in it. Find things around your house. Things that are laying around your house are perfect for the laser. If you have a wood coaster laying around, or a cutting board, you can go ahead and throw it in there. You don't even have to buy anything. It works great. Uh, don't put in, you know, grandma's antique urn or something like that your first day because you're probably gonna mess up and that's okay. But just keep putting in the reps, keep trying, keep practicing. I promise you'll get better at it. I promise it's not that hard. So we're gonna get into settings today, guys. We're gonna start talking about settings. There's really, when you're starting off, let's think about two main settings. So you've got speed, and you've got power. The speed is how fast the laser head is moving around the machine. Uh, and the power, it can go from 0% to 100%. And obviously the more power that you have, the darker it's going to engrave or the thicker it's gonna cut. And then the faster you're gonna go, then the lighter the engraving is gonna be. So that's really, you're just playing with these two variables. For the most part, we'll get into more advanced stuff. But for right now, let's think about speed and power. Those are the two things that you're gonna be playing with and there's not really any perfect settings for now. Again, we get into some more specialty materials. You'll need to dial those settings in a bit more, but for basic things like wood, acrylic, all that is kind of preference. You know, how deep do you want to engrave? You know, just me and Grant were talking yesterday and he was like, I like my acrylic engraving, you know, really smooth. And I just want to brush the top of the surface with the laser. Whereas some people like, might like to have a deeper engraving into acrylic. Or if you're gonna paint the acrylic, you might want that little notch to where it actually goes down into the acrylic. So there's not perfect settings for this, guys. Don't be afraid to play with it and just keep going. So one thing I do wanna to touch on, guys, is the touch posts or like bumping. One of the big things that you that you wanna watch out for, these, these machines are built like a tank and they're very hard to, to hurt. But the number one thing that you can do to actually damage the machine is you'll bump the head into your material. So you're gonna to wanna to learn how your machine works and how it's moving around the machine. When your laser head is moving around, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to when the laser head moves because it can 
run into your material and if your material is hard, you know, if, it, if you have a rotary in there, for example, you'll run across the rotary and you'll break something or you, you know, that's when you can actually cause damage. But you always just wanna make sure that your bed and all your material is well below the, the laser head as you're working. If you keep that in mind, you're not gonna have any problems with this, but just words of the wise, words of the wise. Okay guys, so I'm gonna head over to Lightburn and let's get this project started. All right guys, I'm over here in Lightburn and the first thing I'm going to do is grab this uh, rectangle tool and just draw a quick rectangle, easy enough. And then I'm going to hit the text tool and type my name. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is that um, these are the same color. So that's another thing. Anytime you're gonna move stuff around in the light burn, make sure you hit the pointer button. Um, but both of these are set to red right now. So they're both saying, hey, I'm going to fill. It's, going, it's set to fill. And I wanna be able to, which fill is engraved um, and line is cut. So I want to cut and engrave in the same project. So I need two different color layers. And so I'm going to select one. I've got clay selected right here. And so I'm gonna change it to blue. So now you can see up here in Lightburn, it's popped up with a different uh, layer. And now I have two different options for two different things that I wanna do in the laser machine. So with the red one, I want a line, which is to cut. The blue, I want to fill. The other thing I wanna tell you guys about this color, this is called color mapping. Um, this will process in this order. So I want to engrave first. Whenever you're doing a project with engrave, if you're gonna engrave and cut at the same time, you wanna do your engraving first and then you wanna cut. And that's because if you cut, then once it's cut out, the material is likely to move around. It might drop out a little bit, you know, it could, so it'll get out of focus. Just always good uh, standard operating procedure is to engrave then cut. Um, now, if I just double click on these, it brings up my settings. So here we're gonna talk about two main settings, which is speed and power. And so this is, let's see, this is my fill layer. You're gonna engrave somewhere between 200 and 1000 millimeters a second. I have the bolt plus, I could go to 1500, but I'm just gonna do it at 1000 just because this is for funsies. And then on my, I'm gonna come over here on my red layer, which is my cut layer. And I'm gonna tell it, so normally when you're cutting, you're cutting between, you know, one millimeter a second and 50 millimeters a second would be something very thin. I probably won't get through this cardboard, but if you're doing something like paper, um, that would be what you'd wanna do. And that's all I'm gonna worry about right now, guys. I'll teach you more settings as we move into more videos, but right now I don't want you to get overwhelmed. So I'm gonna to try to keep this as simple as possible. I'm gonna click OK. And the last thing I wanna talk about, guys, is origin. So you wanna come here and make sure that you have user origin selected, and then we're gonna select this middle dot that's called center engraving. So that means we're gonna set the origin in the middle of what we, where we wanna engrave, and then it's going to engrave around it like that. So that's what that's telling it to do. And you'll notice on light burn here, you'll see this little green dot that's notated by that. So your job origin, if I move it to the top left, then the green dot moves over there and it would engrave down and to the right if, if we were gonna do that. But I'm gonna hit the center one. So one more thing I do wanna talk about in settings, guys, is just this air button. So this tells the machine to turn the air on or off. Um, you wanna make sure that you have the air on, especially since we are using cardboard, it's flammable but hopefully this is your first job and you're gonna be watching the laser very carefully. And then we are going to send it to the machine. It's going to say overwrite, or I have it overwrite files by default. Your, your machine won't have that selected, so file exists, overwrite it. Or if you don't have any files, maybe it won't. And let's head over to the laser machine. So now I'm gonna take the material over and put it in the laser machine. Um, as you can see, there, well, the material is not laying flat in the machine, so I'm gonna use these magnets to just hold it down. So that's gonna keep my material flat. I'm going to shut the door. So I'm gonna move my material, my laser head over my material. You can move, so these simple buttons right here, the X, Y, and Z, the Z moves the table up and down, the X, Y moves the laser head around. 
And then you're just gonna wanna put it wherever you wanna engrave, and then you just press the origin button. So that's where it's going to engrave. I'm going to hit the autofocus button. It automatically brings the material up to the laser head, and then I'm gonna hit play. That's it. Now that it's done, guys, I'm just gonna come over here to the machine and pull my material out. And we didn't quite get through. So I just didn't, so the reason you can see the line here, it tried to cut it out, but it didn't quite get through. So that means I either need to increase my power or decrease my speed to get through. So if I was doing this in real life, I would go try it again and find a better setting for cutting cardboard. So that was a real simple way to just do a nice, easy project on a free piece of material, guys. You should have this laying around your house. My goal is just to get you guys working on stuff. Again, that's free. When you're learning, you're gonna wanna just keep repeating, doing reps, doing that type of stuff. So I like using free stuff that you have laying around your house and uh, we'll dive into a more complex project next. See you soon.